Hi guys, look at this problem. The problem is, what is the additive inverse of 3 minus 3 times 3 minus 3? We've seen a lot of people do it in the following way. Look at 3 minus 3 is 0, right? It's going to be 0. This 3 minus 3 also gives 0, right? It's going to be 0 times 0. So the answer in this case will be 0, wrong. This is the wrong way for us to solve it. To get the correct answer, let's first understand the PEMDAS rule, as it helps to determine the sequence in which mathematical expressions should be evaluated to ensure accurate results. Here P stands for parentheses, perform calculations inside parentheses first. B stands for exponents. This includes operations like squaring cubing or taking square roots. M and D are multiplication and division. These operations have the same priority and should be executed from left to right. A and S are addition and subtraction. Finally, perform addition and subtraction from left to right. These operations also have the same priority and should be executed in the order they appear in the expression. So in this expression, we have a multiplication sign and minus signs. Since multiplication have a higher priority, so 3 times 3 is our first move which is equals to 9. Now we have 3 minus 9 minus 3. Now the expression only contains plus and minus signs, so the expression will be solved from left to right. Now 3 minus 9 will be minus 6. Now we have minus 6 minus 3, which is equals to minus 9. Now the question becomes quite simpler. We have to find the additive inverse of minus 9. So what is an addictive inverse? An additive inverse of a number is defined as the value, which on adding with the original number results in zero value. Okay, so the additive inverse of minus 9 is equals to 9. Great. This is our final answer. Hope you understand it well. Thanks for watching.